Hello everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. In this video, I am going to share with you authentic Mangalore style chicken curry recipe. Mangaloreans usually enjoy this curry with the roti which you can see here. However, I personally enjoy this curry with dosa, idli and rice noodles as well. So yeah, without wasting much time, let's get into the recipe. Here I have heated up a kadai and I am adding around a tablespoon of cooking oil. Once the oil becomes hot, I have added around 9 to 10 small dried red chillies. These red chillies give a nice color to your curry. It's not very spicy, so don't worry. Next I am adding around 15 long dried red chillies. I am roasting it for around 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, our red chillies have been roasted well. I am transferring it into a plate and keeping it aside. Next into the same kadai, I am adding around 3 tablespoons of cooking oil. Once the oil becomes hot, I am adding around 2 small cinnamon sticks. Into it, I am adding around 6 cloves. As soon as you add cloves, I suggest that you close the lid because there are chances that the cloves may splutter outside the kadai and come on your face. <laughs> After around 30 seconds, I am opening the lid and I am adding around 2 tablespoons of peppercorns and again I am closing the lid. Next, I am adding around 2 bay leaves roughly chopped. After adding it, I am closing the lid and letting it fry. After around 15 seconds, I am opening the lid and I am adding around 1 large onion roughly chopped. You can chop it roughly because we are going to make a paste out of everything that we are adding here. Now I am giving it a stir and frying it until it turns golden brown color. Next I am adding around 10 to 11 garlic cloves. I have just mashed it and I haven't removed the peel. I keep the peel as it is. If you are not comfortable with it then you can peel it off. Next I am adding around 3 tablespoons of coriander seeds. I am giving it a stir and next I am adding around a tablespoon of cumin seeds. Again I am giving it a good mix. Into it I am adding around half a teaspoon of fennel seeds and again giving it a good mix and letting it fry. And then I am adding around a teaspoon of poppy seeds and I am continuing to give it a good mix. Fry it for around 2 minutes. Next, I am adding one small coconut grated. I am giving it a good stir and frying it for some time until the rawness of the coconut disappears. Next, I am adding around a teaspoon of turmeric powder. I am giving it a good mix. After frying it for around 5 minutes, I am turning off the gas stove and letting it cool down completely before we grind it. Now that my mixture is completely cooled down, I will be grinding it. Don't forget to add chillies as well which we have fried earlier. We need chillies, we need one small lemon sized tamarind and then this coconut onion mixture that we have just roasted. I am going to add around 2 cups of water into this and I am grinding it into a fine paste. Okay, we have our masala paste ready. Do not worry much about the consistency in case if it is too thick. Later when you are boiling it with chicken, you can add more water. This is the consistency that I have got right now. Later I may add more water. 
Now into a vessel I am adding around 2 tablespoon of cooking oil. Once the oil becomes hot, I am adding around 1 small onion finely chopped and then I am frying it until it turns golden brown color. Once the onions turn golden brown color, I am adding chicken to it. Here I have taken around 1 kg of chicken. Into it I am adding salt to taste. And then I am adding around half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. We have also added a teaspoon of turmeric powder while we were making the masala paste as well. So half a teaspoon of turmeric powder here is enough. After adding turmeric powder, I am giving it a good mix. Now I am closing the lid and letting it cook for around 10 minutes. Now while the chicken is cooking, it will separate water. So later you will get an idea how much more water you need to add depending on the consistency that you need. After 10 minutes, I am adding the masala paste that we had made earlier. Now into it I am adding another cup of water. I have just rinsed the vessel with the water so that I didn't want to waste any masala paste. <laughs> I am giving it a good mix and then I am letting it cook for around 20 minutes. Now close the lid and let it cook for around 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, our chicken curry has come to a good boil. Now I am going to turn off the gas stove. Now it's time to prepare for tadka. Here I am adding around 3 tablespoon of cooking oil into a pan. And then I am adding 1 small onion finely chopped. And I'm letting it fry until it becomes nice golden brown color. I'm just giving it a gentle stir and frying it until it turns soft and mushy and golden brown color. And then it's time to add it into the curry. This simple onion tadka which we add to this curry is like a cherry on the cake. There you go, our authentic mango style chicken curry is now ready to eat. Do try this recipe and let me know in the comment section if you enjoyed this recipe. Also, please hit the thumbs up button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then do subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video with another recipe. Bye-bye.